Uh, in this video, I want to touch on being a significant other of somebody that's going through opiate withdrawal or addiction and abuse to opiates. You are probably well aware of the differences in their personality, um, whether they're taking from you, uh, acting erratic, mood swings, just overall not the same person they used to be. And I'm sure you're very concerned, and that's why you're watching this video. <clears throat> I want to make it very clear that when you're addicted to opiates, you are not the same person you used to be because of the drugs, all right? Deep down, that person, that loving person that was there for you and would do anything is still down there. They just have an addiction to something that is controlling, okay? And what I mean by controlling is that every thought they have revolves around their addiction. I used to tell people when I would count money, say just a regular $20 bill, I didn't see that $20 bill. That $20 bill was a pill to me. So if I had $100, I had five pills. And that went along with everything. So my whole life, from the, the moment I woke up to the time I went to sleep, it was the number one thing on my mind. Okay, and it's, it's a very selfish part of their life, and they know it. Okay, they don't want to be the way they are. They want to change. It's just extremely difficult to get over the hump of withdrawal and, and live a clean life. It's difficult. It can be done. Millions of people have done it, me included. But when you're in the, in the thick of it, it changes you. Okay, so if they're doing things to you like taking your things, yes, there should be harsh penalties for that. But I want you to know in the back of your mind that immediately after they take from you, and whether they take from you and they use what your belongings to go get pills or, or dope, as soon as they get high, they feel extreme guilt. Okay, They go back to feeling somewhat normal because they're, they're not withdrawing. They got their fix and reality strikes. Okay, And they, they immediately feel terrible. All right, so I want you to know that what's driving them to act the way they are is not that they've become become a bad person. It's because the drugs are driving their thoughts, their emotions, everything about them revolves around it. Okay, so it's hard to tell somebody not to take it personally because having your belongings t taken from you, being talked down to, having to deal with somebody that is extremely depressed or, I don't want to say uh, violent, but just very moody and uh, hard to be around. It's hard to be around them because their thoughts are provoked by these drugs. Okay? When... Now, I hope people can comment on this from experience uh, besides myself. When, when you're in recovery, you look back on those times, and it's very hard to, to live through what you did, okay? You have to overcome it and move on with your future, but knowing what you did in your past is good for your recovery because you know if you use again, you go back to that person, that ghost of, of yourself when you're clean. It's a bad time. It's the worst. It was the worst time of my life, and I use the way I was to make me a better person every day. All right. So if you're a significant other, mother, father of somebody that's going through this right now, I want you to know that your your husband or wife or your child that you love so much is still there. Okay. They're just being driven by a very strong substance that changes the way they think, changes the, all, the, all of their thoughts and their drive, okay? If you have any questions for me, you can hit me up at ryan at or ryan at freefromhell.com. Thanks. Have a good one.